So. My friends, uh, this is just an additional information about the devotion to St. Joseph. Uh, we also have a devotion of the sleeping Joseph. We know from the scriptures that God, you know, spoke to St. Joseph several times. And especially when Joseph was sleeping, God would send his angel and God would communicate, you know, to Joseph when Joseph was resting, when Joseph was asleep. So for St. Joseph, uh, sleep uh, was a prayer. He would sleep and in his sleep he would remain connected to God. So sleeping St. Joseph is one of the devotions that is just coming up, that has come up so, so much and it, it is even popularized by our current Pope, Pope Francis. So, I just want to mention in passing about the sleeping Joseph. St. Joseph's sleep is so important and very powerful that Satan fears it. Satan fears the sleep of Joseph. According to the New Testament, St. Joseph's sleep is, is prayer. In heaven, St. Joseph no longer sleeps, of course, but in eternity, he does. He rests in the Lord. It's not the afterlife called eternal rest. In recent uh, times, a popular devotion to St. Joseph under the title Sleeping St. Joseph has developed in the church. This devotion involves obtaining a statue or an image of St. Joseph as asleep and asking St. Joseph's intercession for a particular intention. So you write the intention on a piece of paper and you place that piece of paper underneath the statue of sleeping Joseph. In doing this, a person is asking St. Joseph to bring his or her intention to God. The Sleeping St. Joseph devotion is a wonderful way to stay connected to your spiritual father and ask him to pray on your intentions. And that is why, as those who are attending this class, let us try this as well. You know, just write your personal intentions, your personal needs, and bring them underneath the statue of sleeping St. Joseph, and let St. Joseph reflect on your intentions, and let him present your intentions to God. The sleep of St. Joseph can teach man important lessons about life. One of the most important lessons it teaches us is that it is okay to rest. Being a workaholic is never a good thing. St. Joseph was not a workaholic. He liked to sleep. Sleep refreshed his soul. God communicated with St. Joseph when he slept and he was a holier husband and father because of his relationship with God. So you are not wasting time when you rest because even God rested. Sleep is pleasing to God. God will speak to you and refresh your soul when you are asleep. So if you are able, my dear students of St. Joseph, obtain a sleeping statue of St. Joseph. Then write your intentions and put those intentions beneath the sleeping Joseph statue. Place them there under the care of St. Joseph and let him communicate with God about you. You could even say this prayer 
when you've placed your intention there. O Joseph, you are a man greatly favored by the Most High. The angel of the Lord appeared to you in dreams while you slept to warn you and guide you as you cared for the Holy Family. You are both silent and strong, a loyal and courageous protector of the Holy Family. Saint dear Saint Joseph, as you rest in the Lord, confident of his absolute power and goodness, look upon me. Please take my need into your heart, dream of it, and present it to your son. Help me then, good Saint Joseph, to hear the voice of God, to arise and act with love. I praise and thank God with you. Saint Joseph, I love you. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.